Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here, back again with a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the third developer beta of iOS 13.4 has been on the iPhone SE. Now before we get into today's video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Now let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyway, let's get right into the video. I've been running iOS 13.4 developer beta 3 on my iPhone SE for some time now and overall I've been very pleased with this update. I should also mention quickly that the iPhone SE that I'm using here is running a maximum battery capacity of 92%. Now it has had a restart, however I've manually disabled performance throttling as you can see right here. This means that Apple will not be slowing down the performance of this phone to maintain any battery life. Now, iOS 13.4 brought some new features such as new emoji stickers and iCloud folder sharing as well as hints to future features such as an, I an OS recovery on iOS like on Mac. Now let's dive right into general performance. General performance has been great. It's been just as good as the first two developer betas which were great on their own. iOS 13.4 beta 3 has not seen an increase but it's definitely not any slower than its pre predecessors. Now I did run a benchmark with Geekbench 5 and I got a single core score of 546 and a multi core score of 1019. Now as I do not have any records for beta 1 and 2 we'll be comparing this with the average. Now as you can see iOS 13.4 beta 3 scores the exact same as the average, the Geekbench average that is, and multi-core score is only slightly higher. Now, this is, it's by 12 points, which is absolutely nothing, so this pretty much means nothing, but any change is welcome, I guess. Now, animations haven't been any different either. My iPhone SE is just as smooth as iOS 13.4 beta 1 and 2, which says a lot because this phone is starting to age and it's extremely smooth on the latest iOS version. Other than that, there's not much to be said. Battery life is a little different. As I said earlier, my iPhone SE is running a max capacity of 92% with a restart. Again, manually disabled performance throttling as you can see right here. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the battery performance. When I first updated to iOS 13.4, Beta 3 and started using the phone, I noticed that the battery would decrease by 2% fairly quickly. However, once I got to a certain percent, around 82, this stopped. After that, it went down normally and fairly slowly. Now, after letting the battery drain out and leaving it on the charger and picking it up again when it reached 100%, I noticed that it had truly stopped going down by 2s. The battery has been great on iOS 13.4 with light to medium use, regardless of my 92% maximum capacity. You could definitely get a full day with light use for sure, and you could most likely pull off a, a full day with medium use on the iPhone SE while on iOS 13.4 beta 3. However, if you're a heavy user, I'd recommend keeping a spare charger around with you. When it comes to standby time, I've noticed a drain of about 10 to 12%. Now, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Now, of course, battery life will vary by user. Now, this is based off of setting configurations such as background app refresh and location ser services, ma maximum capacity, usage, and etc. Overall, and I really can't, cannot stress this enough, iOS 13.4 has been great. Apple is really nailing down those bugs, and it's looking like iOS 13.4 is going to have a great full release later this month. Now, with that, with that said, let's cover the main question. Should you update? If you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you're okay with installing beta software, I'd say go for it. If you'd rather stay away from betas, but you're still on an earlier version of iOS 13, I'd definitely say wait for the full release. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I'd recommend staying there if you can, as iOS 12 is still more stable and reliable, less buggy, and you'll get better, better battery and probably have better performance than iOS 13. Alright, so, when should we expect to see the fourth developer beta of iOS 13.4? Now, I was originally going to say, based off of the past releases, I'd say we could see a fourth beta as early as Wednesday, March 4th. But with that said, Apple did just go ahead and drop the iOS 13.4 developer beta th uh, 4 just a couple hours ago. So I, whatever I just said is false. They did just release it, and I will have a full review of iOS 13.4 developer beta 4 on the iPhone SE and 7 coming later this week. Both will be this week. Now, the iPhone 7 is going to come first, and then I'll have the iPhone SE, most likely Thursday and Friday. Alright everyone, now that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like, and if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber I get really does mean a lot, and it's very appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.